Welcome back to another episode of Building the EMG-6. In this episode, we are going to position and weld the components necessary for the installation of the upper keel tube onto the fuselage frame assembly. So far, we've completed the frame to this stage. Shown in green is the fuselage frame progress so far, and shown in red are the instrument panel bulkhead assembly that was installed in the previous video. Shown in blue are the two components that we're going to weld to the frame in this video. The upper tube, 5310-22, this is the forward spar keel socket, and the keel pocket, 5310-08-100, both of these parts will have to be manufactured before we can begin the positioning and welding of the upper keel. Lay out and mark a piece of tape on the keel pocket that will be positioned onto the instrument panel bulkhead. It's best to use the reference from the keel pocket mounting hole. In this case, our reference from that hole to the aft edge of the instrument panel subassembly is 1.29 inches. Refer to drawing 5340-00-01 for keel positioning. Supplied with the welding fixtures is 5340-11-02 upper keel positioning block. Optionally, you can just replace this welding fixture by cutting a piece of wood to the thickness shown in the drawing, uh, which is 1.77 inches, and use it in place of the fixture. We will be using this positioning block and a straight piece of tubing that is one inch in diameter to align the instrument panel keel pocket for the tack welding process. We will need to drill a hole through the center of the one inch diameter tubing and with a bolt use that as an alignment hole which will keep the keel pocket in place and in position during the tack welding process. To help maintain exact distance from the instrument panel bulkhead during this installation, we can cut a piece of wood to act as a spacer from the forward spar to the instrument panel upper cross tube. We can use a reference drawing 53 or make that 54, 40, 11-03 and we'll see that the required cut length of this spacer would be 41.22 inches. We will start by finding the center of the main spar tube and then mark the width of the positioning block which is manufactured from three quarter inch plywood. We'll place the positioning block exactly centered from right to left on the spar tube. Then with the keel pocket attached to the one inch diameter tubing we can position very accurately the keel pocket by using a 3 16 inch bolt through the mounting hole on the keel pocket going through the one inch tube we can ensure that the keel is aligned vertically with the fuselage frame assembly. Once all of the distances and alignments are correct, we can remove the positioning tape from the keel pocket and we're now ready to tack weld both sides of the keel pocket to the instrument panel subassembly. If you use an aluminum tube or a wooden dowel, it won't fuse with the keel pocket during the tack welding process. However, if you're using a tube or a pipe that's made out of steel, you need to ensure that you don't weld all the way through the keel pocket and permanently attach the sacrificial tube to the keel pocket during this welding process. Once you have a good tack weld on either side of the keel pocket, you can remove the one inch tube and finish welding around the perimeter of the instrument panel subassembly. You will need to reposition the frame several times in order to get access to each of the areas that need to be welded. When you have completed the weld around the instrument panel subassembly, now would be a good time to finish the welds on the lower section of the instrument panel subassembly that we did in the previous video. The spacer from the forward spar tube to the upper instrument panel crossmember will hold the exact positioning of the instrument panel subassembly while you complete these welding steps. The next step in the upper keel tube assembly process is the installation of the forward spar keel socket. We will first need to mark, lay out, and cut the end of the upper keel tube to the precise dimensions shown in the drawings. You can reference drawing 5340-00-01 keel positioning. If we look into detail D, 
we can see that all the references start from the beginning of the bend. A 3 16 inch diameter hole should be drilled 2 inches from the bend horizontally through the tube and the distance from the bend to the end of the keel should be 3 inches. Mark a radial line on the side of the tube where the bolt hole will be later drilled. Mark and cut the upper keel tube to the proper length. Insert the upper end of the keel tube into the forward spar keel socket and position in place on the forward spar tube. Clamp the keel tube to the keel pocket at the instrument panel to hold it temporarily in place. Next, measure and mark to make sure that the keel socket is perfectly centered both left and right and up and down on the forward spar tube. Mark the spar tube with a pencil around the perimeter of the socket which will aid in proper alignment during the final steps before welding. Mark the hole to be drilled in the keel by aligning the keel mark that was previously placed when you were measuring for the cutting. Align it with the center of the hole in the keel socket and make a mark with the pencil. Using a centering V block for drilling, center punch and drill the upper keel tube hole. Reinsert the keel tube into the keel socket using a 3 16 inch bolt to align the keel socket with the keel tube and position onto the forward spar using the previously generated marks. If you use a bolt going through the keel socket that's longer than necessary, you can use a construction clamp to apply light pressure to the forward spar. Clamp the lower end of the keel tube into the instrument panel. Before we begin the welding process, it would be a good idea to double check the centering using a tape measure to ensure proper centering of the keel socket tube. Once we have double checked the alignment of both the top and bottom, we'll want to tack weld the keel socket in place. Even though the internal keel tube is about an eighth of an inch away from the forward spar, it's important to make these tack welds quickly and with minimal heat so that it doesn't transfer to the keel tube. Once the socket has been welded to the forward spar, remove the keel tube from the frame and proceed with the remaining welding. With the minimal amount of tack weld, it will be necessary to space the welds apart from each other while you're proceeding with the welding. Tack on one side and then the other. This will better maintain alignment of the socket during the welding process. Once the keel socket has finished cooling, we can reinsert the keel tube into the keel socket and place it in position on the instrument panel keel pocket. Reinsert the previously manufactured spacer in between the forward spar tube and the instrument panel subassembly, upper cross member, and clamp it in position. This will exactly locate the instrument panel keel pocket for the final fit of the lower end of the upper keel. Once properly positioned, we will need to mark the lower end of the tube for the vertical bolt hole that needs to be drilled through the keel. We will also have to mark the center line for cutting the end of the tube to fit exactly in the middle of the keel pocket. Once again, we refer to the keel positioning drawing. The upper keel tube should be cut to fall exactly in the center of the keel pocket or two and a quarter inches from either end of the keel pocket. Next we'll want to cut the tubes to length. And center punch and drill for the hole attachment into the instrument panel keel pocket. We can now temporarily install the completed upper keel assembly by inserting a bolt through the forward spar keel socket and another bolt into the instrument panel keel pocket. We can also at this juncture install the keel splice tube, part number 5340-23, which will be used to join the upper and lower portions of the keel assembly.
We have now come to the end of another episode of building the EMG-6. In this episode, we installed the upper keel assembly, and in the next video, we will be installing the lower section of the keel assembly. We hope you find these videos helpful and look forward to bringing you more in the future. Remember that if you enjoy these videos, to like us on our YouTube channel, and for more information about Adventure Aircraft and the EMG-6, please visit our website at www.electricmotorglider.com.